Now back in Old Testament days, they didn't have guns. They didn't have cannons and things like that. But what they did have is hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay? Now what would happen is, what happened in this situation, you had King Saul, which was the good guys, okay? And you had Goliath and the Philistines, who were the bad guys, okay? Now what happened is, the Philistines and the Jews hated one another. They did not like one another, okay? Now what happened is, the Philistines came over and tried to invade the Jews' land, okay? King Saul's land. So what happened is, if you can envision this, there were two mountains or two big hills with a valley. Okay? And generally back then, because they didn't have guns and long-range missiles and stuff like that, is they would do what's called hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay? And basically what that means, I know you all have seen some movies where they do the old guys back in the olden days when they would do hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now when I say hand-to-hand, -hand, I mean they had swords, they had spears, they had bows and arrows. Okay? So what a war would essentially be at that time is good guys would line up over here, bad guys would line up over here, and they just run towards one another. Right. And there'd be a big old mosh, people swinging and biting and, and carrying on and just killing people. And you'd be stepping over people, okay? Now, what happened sometimes was the champion of one army would stand out front, and the champion of the other army would stand out front, and they would since there would be so many people die, and honestly, they did not want to shed blood. If they could have the champion of one side go against the other side, and they would take whoever won that, won the war, okay? So it was basically my champion versus your champion, and whoever wins, wins the whole war without thousands and thousands of people getting killed, okay? Mm -hmm. So what happened is the Philistines had this big old guy. I mean, he was like nine feet tall, okay? Big sword, spear, shield. I mean, he was covered in armor. His name was Goliath. And he came out of there, and he was with the Philistines, and he stood there, and they were on two hills, and everybody could see what was going on, and there was a valley. And Goliath would stand in that valley and say, come on, where's your champion? You know, come on, I, I, I don't see anybody coming out here wanting to fight me. But here's the deal. If somebody comes out here and fights me, and they win, the Philistines will be the servants. Okay? And if your champion wins, all the Philistines will be under the servants of you and your God. Okay? So, he did this for like 40 days, and nobody would come back. Okay? Well, we all heard of David, okay? Yeah. David was a young man, and his three older brothers went to fight. They were soldiers in this, in this, uh, in the uh, in Saul's army, okay? So they would. David wanted to go fight. He was the younger brother. He's like, I want to go do this. I want to go do this. But his dad Jesse said, No, 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 no. You need to stay back here and tend the sheep, okay? Mm -hmm. You need to watch out for the sheep. Well. Days go by, days go by. And David's dad, his name was Jesse, mm -hmm. said, hey, go take some food to your brothers and the soldiers in the, in the army, you know, because they need some food. Well, David walks in, and just at that time, he's talking to his brothers, giving them food, Goliath comes out. <laughs> and he says, where are you? Where's your champion? Why will no one face me? Now, David, I would say David probably, if, he, if you had to analyze whether he was overconfident or underconfident, I'd say he was a little overconfident. Because here's this young man who sees this nine foot tall giant, and he's sitting there with his brother's like, who's that guy? His brother's like, that's Goliath. You know, that's, that's the champion of the Philistines. He's the champion of all. Look at that guy. He's like, I can take him. And they're like, whoa, come on, little brother. You know better than that. You can't take that giant on. Well, David says, yes, I can. And we've all seen those young guys that are like, you know, hey, I can do this. Well, David, went to, and Saul heard this, the king. So they took him to Saul, and David said, king, I can do this. 
And Saul's like, but you're just a boy. You can't do this. And David said this. He said, look, king. It's like you went to President Trump. You know, he's like, this is huge. He said it to Saul. He said, look, I've been a shepherd my whole life. And there have been instances where I've had to fight off lions. I've had to fight off bears. And God protected me. God delivered me from the paw of the, of, the, of the lion. He delivered me from the paw of the bear. He'll surely deliver me from the hands of this Philistine. Okay? So anyway, the king's like, okay, okay. you got to be ready for this. So he starts throwing all this stuff on David. Okay? Puts on a big helmet. Puts him, gives him a big shield, a big sword. David's like, I mean, he couldn't even carry this. I mean, he's like, he's like, King, I can't do this. He says, I don't need that. The only thing I need is one true living God. And that's my protection. Because like I said before, he delivered me from the paw of the lion. He delivered me from the paw of the bear. He'll certainly deliver me from the hands of his blister. Now, back in the day, they didn't kill people. They smoked them. Okay? <laughs> he, he smoked this guy. He smoked this guy. So whenever I say smoke, that means he's killing Okay, so anyway, he, he takes all the armor off. He walks down to the river, grabs a few stones, put it, puts it in his pouch. Same time, Goliath is out there, you know, trash talking. Where y'all at? Come on now. You know, where's your champion? And all of a sudden, this little kid David walks out. And Goliath is like going, what? You gotta be kidding me. It'd be like, you know, some little some little guy coming out on some big guy. It's like, you got me, you send me this little guy? Come on now, you know I'm better than that. <laughs> you know, I can whoop this guy easy. And you know what? You're gonna be bird food, kid. And David didn't cower, didn't back down. He says, No. He says, My God will deliver me. I don't need anything. He says, You're the one that's gonna be bird food. Okay? So Goliath is sitting there, and he's like, okay. So Goliath starts coming at him. David takes a few rocks, puts them in his sling, and we all know what happens. Smacked him in the knock, smote him right there on the spot. He died. He died. At that point, David went over and cut his head off, okay? Because that's what they did back then, okay? Because they were kind of, it was different. But anyway, the Philistines, they ran. They ran away, okay? All the Jews celebrated. Saul's army was in celebration. Okay. Here's a kid that was all against all odds. It's like Murray State taking on a big team. Yeah. You know, when you're winning. You know what I'm saying? It's like John Moran being a superstar out of Murray State. I mean, who heard of Come on now. Yeah. Exactly. Come on now. That don't happen. But it does happen. Okay. Have some gods. You know what? If you don't think you can do something, you won't. You know what? Whether you think you can or can't, you're right. Because if you think you can, you're right. You won't. If you think you can, you will. Okay? It takes a positive attitude to make things happen. And that's what David had. But you know what he had even bigger than a positive attitude? He had faith. He had that <laughs> shield of faith that we talk about. Okay? Now here's the thing. We all can't. We're not going to go out and fight nine foot giants. Okay? I don't know a nine foot guy. Never seen him. I've seen a few six footers. You know, six foot five, six foot six. But here's my line. We all have the lies in our lives. Okay? It may be a challenge that we have that we feel like we can't do. It may be, you know, a sin that we have, that, that's a little pet sin that we cradle and nurture, that we don't look at as being bad, but it, it keeps us away from God. It may be a temptation or bad thoughts. We all have the lies, each and every one of us. No man, no woman does not have a Goliath. How do we fight Goliath? Is it with our own hand? Who delivered David? From the hands of the Philistine. Did he do it on his own? No, no God. God. That being said, these Goliaths you face in life, we all have them. 
Look to God for the answers. He'll provide. It may not be your way, and it may not be immediate, but God will find a way if you stay faithful. Okay? May y'all remember that. Yes, sir. I know we're not and. No, this ain't something you're, you're a Christian, you don't think you're possible. No, right. no. You clean up your life and, and turn yourself around. But it's yeah, things safe with those spirits. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. It's trying to go back to the church. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. It's trying to make you right. So, all in all, stay, stay, exactly. stay faithful like David did. Even when you face those kinds of things. Yeah, God wants to do on another show. Exactly. Yep. 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 Y